What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one piece you should be adding to your build to make you hit harder. We already know in Warlords in New York, the enemies tend to have a little bit more armor, a little bit more health pull, so it takes a little bit more damage to drop them. But once you bring that damage up, it isn't really that hard. Now, I'll be showing you this one piece and how it improves my build, and then I'll also show you my most up-to-date LMG build. So if you wanna stick around to watch that after I talk about this piece, well, that's up to you. So let's get into the gear item you should be adding to almost every build. So this is the original build right here. This is the build before I change out the item that's gonna help me improve my build. It's an LNG build. It has 55% crit chance, 127% crit damage, and 103% headshot damage. Now, all of these numbers are gonna stay the same. The one thing you will notice is the crit damage is going to go down. So we're gonna put this on named enemies, and then I'm just gonna do a little quick test in the range so you can see the numbers, right? So let's just um, let's test the numbers. We'll shoot at the head a couple times. We're hitting, what, what about 598? Yeah, let's slow this down a little bit. Let's slow this down, what, 598,000 to the head, right? So right now, each shot around 598,000. And we're about to show you how these numbers are going to go up drastically, right? Even we're dropping my crit damage. So yeah, 598,705. And then regular, 368,000. But when we crit, Almost 600,000, but 598. And then to the body, about 411, 411,000. What I'm going to do now is I am going to switch out the knee pads. So the knee pads, we are going to go with the named Fox Prayers knee pads. Now, these are Overlord. So what we're about to lose is 15% from Grupo Sombra. And then we're also going to lose the crit damage that's on this roll, which is only 8%. So we're about to lose 23% crit damage. And what we're gonna be adding is 15% damage to targets out of cover. So all the numbers are going to be the same. The only difference, if you look, is the crit damage. We almost lost, well, we lost 23% crit damage, right? But crit chance is still the same, crit damage is lower, and the headshot damage is the same. The only thing we did is we removed the crit damage, we added those frock, those fox per knee pads that give us a 15% damage to targets out of cover. Now you can run this on almost any DPS build. Shoot, you can run this almost on any build that you're trying to um, add a little bit of damage to your build, even those hybrid builds. But look at the number difference. 632,000 to the head, that's that's over, that's almost 35,000 extra damage you get when you crit to the head. Now, if we did it to the body, it's gonna show the same numbers. Well, we, we were about, what, 411 to the body, and we'll check that in a second. But I'm just showing you right now, look at these numbers. That's that's a big difference, right? And that extra almost 35,000 is going to be amazing when you're trying to hit these enemies who have higher health pools, right? So this is going to help you melt those enemies. Just adding this one piece, and you can see that even though I lost a lot of crit damage, I was still hitting 35,000 more. And that's why when you do something like that, when you add a piece like this that gives you 15% damage to targets out of cover, the way it works in the division is just so much better than just adding a lot of crit damage right so your damage is going to be way higher with that so if you want to add that to your rifle builds i i stack that on my rifle builds i have it right here on this rifle build that i put out um what was it two days ago so same thing you can run this in almost everything if you want to run this piece with the marksman rifle you can do that too with ar every piece in the game every build in the game that you're putting out a lot of damage you're going to want that because there's no other piece no other piece gives you that 15% damage to targets out of cover. Now, to farm this piece, you guys are going to want to look for the Overlord pieces or the knee pads. Ideally, I suggest looking for the Overlord pieces. And this week, well, today, it is um, control points. So if you're watching this video on the day I launched this, it is control points. So you have all these control points, all these activities that have a chance of dropping those named items. I recommend if you can do heroic um, activities, do those. If you can do heroic um Control points do those two. Those are going to give you the better chance of dropping it. But if you can only do challenging, only do challenging. If you can only do hard, only do hard. Don't push yourself. But I'm just letting you know, if you do a little bit harder um, difficulty, you'll definitely have a better chance. Now, if you don't have any really good overlord pieces when you guys are watching this place, like say if you like the, it's a stronghold and you're like, oh, I don't want to go strong or it's in DZ and you don't want to go in DZ. Well, look for the knee pads. The knee pads are going to be your second best bet. The problem with farming knee pads is it will drop for every brand set 
it could drop for every gear set there's just so much in that loot pool versus overlord it's all overlord pieces if you get a named item there's only one named item for overlord so that is what you guys um want to farm if you guys are going to be farming for this piece but let's get into the build because i promise you i'll show you my most up-to-date lmg build so this is what i currently run heroics with so we have 15% LMG damage, 12% damage to targets out of cover on this infantry MG5. I got it. I was lucky enough. It had 5.5 crit chance on there, and then it had fast hands, critical hits, at a stack, a 4% reload speed bonus, max stack 40. So we are stacking crit chance on this. Um, so we have crit chance on the scope, the underbarrel, and then we have the 50 round mag, plus we have the 20% stability. For my secondary, I love running a sniper rifle and the white death. It was sold a couple days ago, and I picked it up, and it's one of the easiest sniper rifles to use. It has 711,000 base damage. It has 15% marksman rifle damage, 137% headshot damage, and then I have Optimus on here. So weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. I wish I could have a little bit different talent here, but it's not horrible. It's not a horrible talent. I just wanted to have that 15% marksman rifle damage rolled on there. Now, if we get into the build itself, I'm going to go pretty quick with this because you guys might have watched my last build. I did make some changes. We have the Providence Mask. This gives us 15% weapon damage, 4.7 crit chance, 11% crit damage, and then we have a mod on there for 10.5% crit damage. For the chest piece, we're running 13.4% weapon damage. Another Providence piece, it has 9.2% crit hit damage. 3.7% crit hit chance, and then I have a God Roll 6% crit hit chance mod on there. I am running Glass Cannon, not Perfect Glass Cannon. This one gives you the 25% amplified damage, but it also makes all incoming damage amplified by 50%. You could run Perfect Glass Cannon, but that extra 10% incoming damage is a little bit on the super, super squishy side. But if you can play with it, go ahead. By all means, you can run that. That gives you that 30% weapon damage. Now for the holster, I have the Cheska holster, 10% critical hit chance. We have 10.5% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage roll on here, and then I have 8.1% headshot damage. Ideally, um, if you feel like you're not hitting a lot of headshots and you're more of a body shot kind of guy, then maybe the headshot isn't a good one for you there, and then you can roll crit chance on there, and that might be a better roll for you. But you, you should be able to hit 60% crit hit chance without having to do that. The knee pads, the knee pads I just talked to you guys about, the Overlord knee pads, it, we have 12.4% weapon damage, 15% damage to targets out of cover, and then I rolled the God roll of 6% crit hit chance on those knee pads. So that's something that you guys want to try to get. For the gloves, we have the name gloves, the contractor gloves. These are Petroff, so you want to farm the Petroff areas. This has a really low weapon damage roll, but it gave me a god roll of 11% damage to armor, and then I rolled crit chance on there. If I already had a crit chance roll, even if it was lower, I wouldn't have rolled this. I would have rolled the weapon damage, but I had like a health roll, and I didn't want the health roll. I wanted to have the crit chance, so that's why I rolled the crit chance on there. For the backpack, this is one piece I definitely can improve. I'm going to start farming some Providence pieces to improve this. This gives me the three piece of Providence. We have 10.4% weapon damage. I wish I could get better there. We have 10.8% critical hit damage. That 7% explosive resistance, you, you rather want to have all red. So if you could have crit hit chance there, you would be able to put more stability mods on your LMG and not have to worry about it on there. And then we have the 10.3% critical hit damage mod rolled on there. I have Vigilance, increased total weapon damage by 25%, and then you do lose that if you take any damage for 4 seconds, and then it resets. But if you have Perfect Vigilance, it's only 3 seconds. So if you can get that, that's probably what you want to do. You can also just switch that out and run Unstoppable Force. I run both of these talents. I, sw I swap out the talents every now and then. If you feel like you're taking way too much damage because they're just focusing you a lot, then Unstoppable Force is probably going to be better for you. Killing an enemy increases total weapon damage by 5% for 15 seconds. So... That does stack up to 5, so that would be up to 25%. So if you're getting a lot of kills really quick, Unstoppable Force is probably going to be your best bet. I like running Vigilance a lot too. I don't know. I can't decide. It just depends. If you look at yourself and you notice, okay, my Vigilance is always on cooldown because I'm always taking way too much damage, then I totally understand. But if you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm actually putting out a lot of damage in that initial burst, then it's worth it, then by all means, keep Vigilance. Let it, That should be up to your playstyle. So if you look right here, we have 60% crit chance. So for the numbers, we are running 60% crit hit chance, 103% crit hit damage, 103% headshot damage. And then we have that 11% armor damage. Plus, remember, we have the 15% tar um, damage to targets out of cover, but that doesn't show up on the stats.
I'll tell you that the sniper rifle is great for uh, finishing off enemies that are hiding. I'm hitting about 6.4 million with the headshot with the marksman rifle. So that's what I go to as my backup. But this is the one talent, the overlord knee pads, the name knee pads, what you should be adding to your build. Let me know if you guys have any questions, guys. I appreciate all the support. And if you guys have any questions, use the comment section down below. But until the next Division 2 video, nothing but skills is out.